Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And we are here in Rustbolt, guys. I know it's been a while since our last episode, but a lot has gone on off camera. First thing, and most importantly, after many, many moons and many, many episodes, we can finally fly in Battle for Azeroth. We got revered with the Rust Bolt Resistance finally, and that allows us to be able to use flying all over, whether it be Kul'Turas or Zandalar or here or Nashatar. So that should make life a whole lot easier for us. That did desummon Smee, so we need to be aware of that. And that also got us access to this quest from uh, Prince Arasman. So let's go ahead and see what he wants. Have you considered an upgrade? Operation Mechagon, the Mech Originator. My father's madness won't be contained to this island. King Mechagon is creating a massive device capable of reversing the curse of flesh across the entirety of Azeroth. Any races forged by the Titans will return to their original state. For us gnomes, that means tr fully mechanical. For dwarves and trogs, stone. Vikrul, iron. The list goes on, but most races aren't even on the list. Anything not forged by the Titans will be completely obliterated. We must stop King Mechagon before it's too late. Enter Mechagon and defeat King Mechagon. Define your own parameters. Proceed with your inquiry. So, that is giving us access to the um, super dungeon of Operation Mechagon, which we cannot do yet. Um, we can't actually queue up for it. Not yet, I don't believe. So let's double check to make sure. Yep, not yet. But when we do, we can head in there and take out King Mechagon. Can we just walk into the instance? Oh, cool loading screen. That is... looks almost Dalek-ish. Oh, and we're back in Rust Bolt at night, I see. Uh, so we got, yeah, bosses. We got the HK-8 Aerial Oppression Unit patrolling. Okay. Got the score. Well, that's great. You get to basically clear out the entire the island of, is always in need of, resources. of Riff Raff. Now, before we head back to Nashatar, um, we do have another mission for our spider mount. As you can see, it's starting to look good. Now, off-camera, um, there are actually two missions that I went ahead and did. One was to gather 1,000 spare parts, which was kind of, you know, repetitive. And then another one where we needed to grab a bundle of recyclable parts, which means that we needed to combine 30 hardened spring, 10 tempered plating, and 5 machine gear assemblies. Um, those are kind of rare drops from mechanicals around the area. I'm going to give you some advice if you're on this quest too. Just buy the stuff from the auction house. It cost me about 5k worth of gold. Worth it, for sure. Looks like uh, we get our quest from Grizzik today. Something on your mind? Cookchunk said you guys was working on getting that mechanic spider running again. Well, I'm not going to let you have all the fun. That rusty old thing is going to need a lot of grease to get moving again. So I jury rigged a special grease trap to help you gather grease from the slimes nearby. Use the grease trap to collect 12 cog grease from slimes around the outflow. All right, get going. All right, we can go ahead and do that. I've basically been checking the quest every day, saying, okay, is this going to be repetitive? Is this something we can actually do? And this looks like something we can actually do. But first, woo, treasure chest. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> I was like, don't you do this to me, game. Aw, a lovingly worn wrench. Alright, so... Place a grease trap. I assume. Okay, cool. I don't know how long these are going to stay, so let's gather what we can. I assume it's probably like a minute or so. Not too bad. 
Oh, of course you despawn, like, right at the moment of death. There you go. Alright, not horrible. So let's see what we can do about grabbing as many as possible. And then just dropping the grease trap, like, right before they start dying in earnest. Or I start dying in earnest, one of the two. Alright, here we go. Now, come on, let me go ahead and kill one of you now. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all, and I wasn't able to drop the grease trap. Wait. Can I do it now? Okay, excellent. It's not as bad as it could have been. Uh, I still have some sarid sticks. Or stakes. I guess we'll do this one at a time. I'm glad that most of you were okay with uh, Warcraft moving to Tuesdays, Thursdays. Because actually, to tell you the truth, we are starting to get near the end of the content. Which isn't a bad thing, necessarily. It's just, um, after we take care of the stuff in Nashatar, we just have the mission, and or the raid itself, and a lot of the stuff is currently still locked, but it is starting to become unlocked via the raid finder. I think we got one more wing to go. But while that's going on, I also do have the Brawl Arena to do, because that's actually one of my favorite things to, uh, play around with here in Warcraft, and I'm glad that they kind of refresh it every expansion, so we're going to be doing that after we are done with Nashatar, maybe before we start doing the raid. I think that might actually work best. I don't know if we would have got anything from that elite, but didn't really want to find out. Okay, these two will do. Junk Heap Roach. Like, at least take on two. Oh, it has a cat. I didn't even think that it had a cast time. I thought it was one of those, like, instant drop things. Alright, well. We learned something today. Twelve, two more to go, or four more to go. Whew, I'm doing bad on the maths today. Do you we couldn't just drop the grease into the middle of that river? You figured there'd be plenty there to uh, utilize for our purposes. I guess that is not the case. I don't know how many quests we have left in Nashatar, but apparently it's not that many. Okay, one more. We're getting close, according to the comments. Which I definitely appreciate you guys uh, coming in and letting me know about that. Don't want one of those, okay, we can do the raid, and then 20 episodes later. Well, come on. There you are. Not too shabby. I'm so glad I got flying, though. Because I normally enjoy riding around and seeing the world. I think I mentioned that in a previous episode. But it w areas like this in Nashatar were getting a bit annoying to uh, go through all of these mobs that want you dead. And since I'm not playing tank, it's fairly easy to dismount me. Well, uh, that's that is uh, that ship has sailed. What you working on? Yeah, it was greasy work. I'm glad it wasn't me doing it. We all got work to do. Yeah, thank you, Swindle Gear. This grease will come in handy. Could always use a hand. It's See for the spider mount, Kerchunk, not your hair. My hair is naturally she sleek and shiny. What hair? I know mine is sleek and shiny. 
I greased it only the finest motor oil. Aw, poor Scrappy. Missing region energy cell. I've got plenty of energy cells. Oh, not on me. Okay, one sec. Quartermaster. I need an energy cell, which I have 61 of. Good lord. Thank you. Clear. <laughs> it's alive! Scrappy barks happily and nuzzles Swindle Gear's leg. Yeah, you're welcome. Don't get jealous first, mate. Well, now that we are done with this, let us go ahead... Oh, also, in terms of things that we could buy from the Quartermaster, um, there was a card that we were able to upgrade our pocket-sized computation device to an item level 410. Now we can channel a Cyclotronic Blast, dealing 24,000 damage every 0.4 seconds for 2 seconds. That's kind of nifty. Um, I got a Rust Bolt Banner, which, I, which Swindle Gear is never going to put up. And there was something... Observe and report. Oh yeah, the plans for another um, trinket or ring that we can build from Pascal. So, not too shabby for Revered. Gonna be a long haul to get to Exalted. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and travel to Najatar and uh, continue the, that quest line. So, I'll see y'all there. Here we go. Here's a view we haven't seen yet. An aerial tour of Najatar. Actually gives you time to appreciate the rised oceans more, I think. But the only quest that we have available is back at Terrors in the Deep with Thalysra, so let's go ahead and meet up with her. And see what's what. One day at a time. Ashara knows we are here. Still, we must press it's on. It's hard to imagine what we'll do once we don't have to fight to survive. I look forward to figuring that out. And I look forward to figuring that out with you. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to talk to tell, Tall Elvish Lady. Need a hand? How much? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that fit too well. <laughs> Be careful, though. There is a wrongness coming from the water. It is unlike the magic of old, but more ancient and terrible. Traverse the canals and find the source of corruption. If we are to search Zin Ashari, we cannot let any relics fall into the hands of even darker powers. Defeat ten corrupted creatures and the source of the corruption. Once we reestablish the network, I should be able to communicate with you through these devices. We can use the reactivated crystals to speak over great distances. Find more within the city if you need to contact me. Yeah, just like old times, eh, Thalysra? Okay, corrupted creature slain. Ooh. That was funny, I was thinking about uh, when I said that Swindle Gear only oiled his hair with the finest motor oil. I don't know if it was necessarily the 80s or what, but when I grew up, I actually loved the smell of gasoline, motor oil, and cigarettes growing up. The reason why is my dad built hot rods as a hobby, so I always smelled like motor oil and gasoline and, and things like that. And uh, my mother, my mother didn't smoke, but she went to these things called paint party, where her and a bunch of uh, ladies would get together and just talk and paint. My mother was an amazing artist. And, uh, she did, like, Bob Ross-style paintings. But, uh, it's, like, really good stuff. I actually, one of the best things that I ever did, I think, was they were doing this, um, exhibition at the museum I work at. And, um, it was, it was, um, works from home. So, our own art collections, like, art that we had gathered, we could basically have displayed, so I grabbed my mother's paintings and brought them the ones that I was the ones that I had and able to uh, procure and the collections manager loved them oh we were disconnected but um the collections manager loved them and actually put them on display in the art galleries which I thought was a nice little tribute to her uh, let me go ahead and log back in one sec 
Okay, and we're back. And getting whispered by the Eye of the Corrupter. It's interesting. But um, getting back to that story, my, my mother didn't smoke, but all the other ladies did. So I think I was around four years old at the time. So mom coming home and smelling like cigarettes when I would like, you know, like sit in her lap or anything like that, that's, I always attributed that to her. So I don't know, it was just kind of weird. I, I, I found that secondhand smoke smell, at least on clothes, to be really pleasant. I disliked it more as I got older. But I don't know, maybe cigarettes smelt a whole lot different back then. Oh man, we are getting all kinds of whispers. Listen, she is a threat. Kill her, kill her. You were right to doubt them. The Undrowned will join the chorus. Listen to it. Everywhere you look, the stars gaze back. You know what? You're lucky I got enough voices in my head already. They don't need competition. Man, soul. I'm quick like an eel. <laughs> yes, you are, Snookums. Get used to them after a while. You will hear the song. You know, I give real money at this side of the corrupt that just shut up. How many we got? We need three, two more. <laughs> Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. Okay, now we're in good shape. Uno mas. Oh, sea totem. Summons a sea elemental to aid you in combat for one minute. Well, hopefully this will uh, help out as we head over here. There you are. Hey, look at that. I feel like a shaman. Just with more survivability. You know, that should be pretty... That should be pretty uh, embarrassing that your minions were tougher than you were. Just saying. And find the communication crystal. Just taking a tour through town. Defeating a mere herald means nothing. Nazoth's visions are growing stronger more tangible. There is so much he wants you to see. Your ambitions doom the people of Zinajari for this? All to earn the favor of your dark master? The bargain was struck on my terms, and through it my loyal followers embraced a grand destiny. You cannot see the truth yet, but you will. Oh. <laughs> How you will. I love she has the... It seems we struck a nerve. Let us continue the search. She has the glass of wine in one hand, and then she's just holding one of her head tentacles in the other. Our isolation has ended. His influence is spreading. Greetings. Spirits of Telemancy. The spirits here do not seem to remember the Sundering. Have they forgotten, or been made to forget? Perhaps it is a blessing. 
The Nightborn are no strangers to this place. It was once our capital, too, long ago. Before the Sundering and erecting the shield over Suramar, we used to travel freely to Zin Ashari. Oculith had a workshop in these estates. Perhaps it might contain some secrets or magic that went undisturbed by the survivors. Investigate Oculus old workshop. Oh god, we're not going to be teleported all over the place again, are we? I still remember that. Speak with the dead. So many souls perished beneath the waves. Too many sacrificed for her ambition. Is it strange that the spirits here have not departed? Or it is strange. I wonder if they even know they are dead. Still, their knowledge might be useful to us. If you could question the spirits, they might be able to point us in the right direction. Question the spirits in the Highborn Estates to discover something useful. We are only as strong as our will. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to enjoy being, uh, questioned here. Like this Highborn Guardian sitting here holding the blades. Nothing bad could possibly happen there, right? Welcome, stranger. What brings you to Zin Ashari? So, uh, what do you know of the Tidestone? A spy in our midst! Told you. What did I say? And there's you. Hey, how you doing? What do you know about the Tidestone? Please ignore this angry wraith that's sitting there trying to kill me. The Tidestone? Truly a potent relic. Cap <laughs> capable of producing a powerful barrier that only the strongest of our magic can pierce. If you would like to study it, you may appeal to the scholars of the Nartholus Academy where it is located. Ah, we've narrowed down the location. That's good. Now we need another clue. Maybe we'll talk to these two at the same time. It has been some time since the last council meeting. I wonder what is keeping them busy. So, you might know. What is the strongest magic left here in Zinashari? A spy in our midst! Okay, I'll go ask someone else. In the meantime, you get blinded. Welcome, stranger. What brings you to Zinashari? Do, do you know what the strongest magic left here is? Our glorious queen is the most powerful sorceress to have ever lived. There is nothing she cannot accomplish. Why, the javelins alone could pierce nearly any ward. Maybe even one she made. It's a good thing they're in her possession then, is it not? Yeah. I guess so. Boop. Okay, that is the... S now we get a third clue. Let's head over here because Oculus Laboratory is in there. And I know we're going to upset someone else along the way here, but I'm counting on you, buddy. What new que what marvels are will our queen show us next, I wonder? So what do you know about the javelins? A spy in our midst! Uh-huh. Poof. Hey, you know, I wanted to question that person. And I can't do I can't do that now. Hey, how about you, Highborn Magus? What do you know about the javelins? Ah yes, they are quite the sight. A gift from our sister city. They possess power worthy to be bestowed to our queen. We've got this. Nevertheless, she has no need for such paltry items. I believe she has bestowed them on Lady Silzazi, or Silazi, one of her favorite, current favorite handmaidens. All right, I guess she's. We got to go kill her. In the meantime, Oculus notes. Uh, excuse me, ladies. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. Now I'm floating. It was a trap. And I am going to die. Hanging upside down. 
surrounded by pointy-eared ghost elves. And, oh! In place in case of telemantic emergency. Well, that's handy. Let's uh, try that again. Who knows what secrets they contain? Oculus, probably. Well, that was a close shave. Let's go, Smee and Neri. The Nightwell calls to me. Have you found the workshop yet? Yeah, here you go. Don't don't ask me what happened there. Why am I not surprised? Still, these notes may prove useful. The javelins. I thought them lost. The javelins of Suramar. Wielded by Ashara herself, they contain an immense magical power. She's always had a fondness for bestowing favors on her favorites, but I never suspected she would give one something so valuable as one of her javelins. This foe must be formidable indeed. Nevertheless, Swindlegear, we cannot let this opportunity pass us. Defeat the Handmaiden and retrieve the relic. Retrieve the Javelin of Suramar, Radiant Azerite Core. Be careful who you trust. Here to admire the Highborn's handiwork, the Lysra? To look upon all that your hubris has wrought? Suramar rebelled against Azara. Were it not for our courage, the Legion's forces would have overwhelmed Azeroth. And who are you? Yet instead of fighting alongside the rest of us, you walled yourselves off as Kalimdor burned around you. It breaks a queen's heart to watch her subjects squabble. Such a futile argument. In the end, you will all be mine again. Can I stab her? One way or another. General of the Sentinel Army. Ajara, rest assured that we stand united in our contempt for you. You see, we have found common ground already. Dear children, it is only a matter of time until you kneel before my throne. As a willing subject, or a broken corpse. Chandris, we sealed off Soramar to keep the Pillars of Creation free from Ajara's grasp. The power she holds with just the Tidestone. I know. So long as it remains in her clutches, we have little hope of victory. Zinajari was once the center of all magical knowledge. The key to resting control of the Tidestone must lie amidst the ruins. Oh, what? Sorry. Okay, in, into the ruins. Yes, we go. Pompous Night Elves, man. The priestesses of Elune never bowed to Ajara and were cursed for their defiance. Grant their spirits the peace they were denied. Zap. Can we just grab the... Nope. Okay. Well, fine. I knew it was going to be too good to be true. And we don't have our totem anymore, so we'll just do this the old-fashioned way. Queen Ajara has chosen me! I will slay you in her name! Uh-huh. So... Is this the javelin? Because it don't seem like much. Maybe it's because you're using it. Because, you know, a tool is only good as the person using it. And uh, if you're not doing a whole lot of damage to me, and I'm finding killing you and hacking you the bits to be rather easy a process, then chances are it could be that you just suck. I mean, I'm sorry if that gets your little uh, crabby legs in a bunch, but don't mean it ain't true. Javelin of Suramar, once wielded by Ashara herself, this is capable of piercing most magical barriers. Okie dokie. Aran Arcana. We cannot let her get away. This might just work. The javelins were some of Suramar's finest creations before the Sundering. Their magic is ancient and potent, perhaps strong enough to defeat Ashara's wards. Hurry back to Newholm. 
We must tell the others of our success here. You have done well. Return to Lorthamar in Newhome. Anratha Adore. Okay, I guess I'm going to go ahead and be doing that now. Since we are relatively close by. Actually, we are not close by. Actually, this seems to be a good place to go ahead and end the episode, guys. When we get back, we'll report to Lorthamar that we are done. And um, if we are done with our missions here and have to start doing the raid afterward, what we'll do is we will just head to Ogrimmar and get into the Brawling Ring. Because I just really wanted to go ahead and get that taken care of. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll just play it by ear. But if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.